Apollo 10, a space flight that paved the way for the greatest achievement in human history, to land on the moon. Astronauts Tom Stafford, John Young, and Gene Cernan were sent to test every step of the moon landing. But something did go wrong. Now, here's another goddamn turd. What's the matter with you guys? Apollo 10 launched from Kennedy Space Center on May 18, 1969. The astronauts flew over the Sea of Tranquility, where Neil Armstrong was soon to land. Nearly every step of this vital dress rehearsal was going perfectly. And then, disaster struck. What's happening? Oh, who did it? Who did what? what? Who did it? Give me it. Give me it. Where did that come from? It appeared that one of the crew members had created a violation. Give me a napkin quick, there's a turd floating. I didn't do it, it ain't one of mine. I, I don't think it's one of mine. Uh. A loose turd had been found floating through the cabin, and nobody would take responsibility. I was a little more sticky than that. Oh, I <laughs> God almighty. <laughs> what do you see? Nothing, that's enough for me. Over the next few minutes, the astronauts wrestled with the unforgettable projectile, and eventually were able to subdue and discard the turd. But their problems were far from over, because just as they settled back into their mission, disaster struck again. They told us that, here's another goddamn turd. What's the matter with you guys? Here, give me a... <laughs> <laughs> well, baby, if it was me, I'm sure you'd know I'm on the floor. <laughs> was it just floating around? Yeah. That's right, a second turd was discovered. The crew, again, denied responsibility, but one of them was less than certain. The turd was stickier than that. Mine was too, it hit that bag. When I stuck my finger in it, mine was nice and soft. Oh, dang. <laughs> I don't know who that is, I can neither claim it nor disclaim it. <laughs> to this day, nobody has directly taken credit for the floating turds. With few clues beyond this audio recording, the mystery will likely live on forever. But finding a turd orbiting the moon is not all that surprising. In 1969, the procedure for going to the bathroom was complicated and archaic. At the time, the fecal collection system consisted of a finger glove, a plastic bag, and a germicidal liquid pouch. According to NASA's guidelines, the fecal bag was placed over the anus for defecation. When finished, the user would drop the germicidal liquid pouch into the bag, seal it, and then knead the disgusting mixture together before depositing it into a waste stowage compartment. And this procedure was problematic. The flap in the back of the astronaut's underwear was too small to easily attach the fecal bag, and it's here that the loose turd likely escaped. One astronaut from Apollo 7 estimated that it took upwards of 45 minutes to poop in space due to the complexity and difficulty of the fecal containment procedure. And that's when they were out of their spacesuits. Nobody likes to talk about it, but the procedure for using the bathroom while wearing a spacesuit was a so-called fecal containment unit, which literally was a space diaper. To quote NASA, if an uncontrolled bowel movement had occurred, the underpants would have contained the feces. To put it bluntly, pooping in space was pretty crappy. But astronauts are, above all, professionals. Despite the two loose floating turds and a complicated fecal collection system, Apollo 10 completed all of its tasks and returned to Earth safely. And thanks to those brave turd wranglers, just two months later, Neil Armstrong landed on the moon, wearing a space diaper.